A double check valve performs two operations. It directs airflow for specific functions and it selects the higher pressure from either of two sources. Parking brakes, for instance, can be controlled from either the front or rear service reservoirs. The most common double check valve uses a shuttle contained in a guide which is installed in the body. The DC-4 has two inlet ports and one delivery port. As air enters either inlet port, the moving shuttle responds to the pressure. It seals the port receiving the lower air pressure level. But the airflow continues out the delivery port. If the pressure levels reverse, the position of the shuttle will reverse. The shuttle never impedes the flow of air. Here's a service tip. With certain double check valves used where pressure differentials may be minimal, mount them horizontally for optimum performance. The next component to be considered in the brake system is a dash control valve. The driver has several dashboard controls available. PP or push-pull valves are manually operable on-off air control valves. Pushing the button in places it in the delivery position. Most are pressure sensitive, like this Bendix PP1. It consists of a control button, plunger, spring, inlet exhaust valve, and body. The body has three types of ports, supply, delivery, and exhaust. The PP1 is manually applied. If supplied pressure decreases to a specified minimum setting, usually 40 PSI, the PP1 will automatically move to the exhaust position. The plunger pops out, releasing air through the exhaust port. Of course, pushing the plunger back in to the applied position reactivates the control. But supply air pressure must be above 40 PSI for it to stay in. The PP1 is available in a range of auto exhaust settings from 20 PSI through 60 PSI. 